What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, we're gonna look at loops in Dart. All right guys, like I said in this video, we're gonna look at loops in Dart. But before we get started, if you like this video and wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships on my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at loops in Dart. And we're gonna look at for loops, the for in loop, and the while loop. And loops are, of course, a fundamental thing of all programming languages. They allow you to loop through things and do things over and over again for a certain amount of time or a certain number of times or whatever you wanna do in your loop. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Dart videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. All right, so I've got some basic Dart starter code that we always have, and I'm just calling this loops.dart. So let's start out with a for loop. And we're gonna start out by creating a variable. I'm just gonna call it num. And then let's set it equal to like five. We want our loop to loop five times, right? So we create a variable for that. Now you don't have to create a variable, you can use a number, but you know, it's kind of standard to use a variable. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's go four. So inside of here, we need to create sort of like a counter variable to keep track of how many times we've looped. So I'm gonna call this i, that's sort of, you know, normal. And let's set i equal to our num, right? Now, instead of setting it equal to num, because we've got the variable num, you could just, you know, set it equal to five, but you know, it's kind of standard to use a variable here. Next, we need to say, what do we actually kind of, looking for in our loop. So let's go, as long as i is greater than or equal to one, we wanna keep looping, right? Now, every time we want to go i minus minus, this will subtract one from i. So i starts out at five, we loop through, i becomes four. We loop through again, i becomes three. We loop through again, i becomes two. We loop through again, i becomes one, i is still greater than or equal to one. So we loop through again, i becomes zero, at which point i is no longer greater than or equal to one and the whole thing stops, right? Basic loop structure. So next we use our brackets and inside of here we do whatever we wanna do while we're looping. So let's just print out i, right? All right, that's it. That's all there is to it. Very simple. Go ahead and save this, head over to our terminal in my C Dart stuff directory and let's run Dart loops.dart. And when we do it prints out five, four, three, two, one, right? Exactly what we would expect to happen. So very cool, very easy. And uh, that's all there is to it. Now, a lot of times when you're using a for loop, you're gonna wanna do it to iterate over something. So you've got an array or a variable or some list of something you wanna iterate through a certain amount of times. Well, for that, you're gonna use the for in loop. So let's create a quick array and I'm just gonna call it names. And let's just add a two or three names here. So we've got John, we've got Tina, and we've got say Steve, right? And we wanna iterate through this list and print out each item in the list, in the array, right? Well, we can use the for in loop. So let's go for. Now we need to keep track of each item that we iterate through. So we're gonna create a variable, let's call it name. Since this is an array of names, I'm gonna use the singular name. We could just as easily call it X, right? But be descriptive, let's say for name, in names. So this is our names array. This is the for in loop, see the in right there. And uh, that's all there is to it. So what do we wanna do? Well, let's just print each name, right? So let's go ahead and save this, head over here, run this guy. And we see John, Tina, and Steve. Pretty cool, pretty easy. And personally, I'll use a for in loop more often than I'll use a regular for loop because when you wanna loop, oftentimes you wanna loop over something, you know? Here we've got, an array. We want to loop through the array and print out everything, do something with each item in the array. You'd use your for in loop for that. So, all right, that's the for in loop. Finally, we have the while loop. And this one's really easy. We just call while. And let's say while our num is greater than or equal to one. Remember our num is up here. It's still five. We can use that again. And then we just do whatever we want to do. So we can print, for instance, num. Now, you'll get an infinite loop if you do this because we're not changing our counter, right? So we need to change our counter. Let's go num minus minus. So every time we loop, we wanna subtract one. So then eventually we'll get the same things up here. It'll start out at five, four, three, two, one. Then it becomes zero. Zero is not greater than or equal to one and the whole thing stops, right? So, okay, pretty simple. Go ahead and save this. Head back over here, run this guy one more time. And we see, sure enough, five, four, three, two, one, and then it stops. 
And that's all there is to it. So those are the main loops in Dart. There are some other loops as well. There's a uh, do while loop that's basically a while loop that's a little bit different. I, I never use that. I don't know anybody that's ever used that. I've never seen that in code. So I'm not going to talk about it. But if you're interested, you can Google the do while loop in Dart. Most programming languages have a do while loop. I never teach it in any programming language because I don't know, these three will get you through like 99.9% .9 of anything you would ever want to do. So that's what we do. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So it's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.